I'm recording this video in 2022 and in recent years there was a big resurgence of aluminium frames. Aluminium frames are awesome. It gives you great responsiveness, makes a great sound. If you have an aluminium grind block <clears throat> or an aluminium sidewall in a skate park, on rails, but on ledges, not so much. Also, how do aluminium frames feel on bad surfaces? Trust me, they feel pretty harsh. So, suspension frigging frames. I got Kieser suspension frames, the freestyle ones, and I got some white physics. So, I'm gonna ramble about the Kieser frames. I got these real cheap. It's very old stock. I got them new from a store. And I'm super happy with them, but only about the fact that I have them. I don't need them. I will never gonna use them. Maybe once or twice a year, just to run around in them, only to remind myself how horrible these frames are. A few weeks ago, I made a very quick short film video, and on that day, I was in the mood for some self torture. I put on these frames and I realized it was a really bad idea. These frames, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. I was barely able to roll in them. I kept losing my balance. I was having trouble with starting or making my first stride or stopping. I just kept losing my balance. Also, this one. Some huge problem with this frame. Look at the arm. Can you see that it stretches out? It seems like it's even there's one wheel that's straight up rubbing. It seems like this one is rubbing. So you can see it's stretched out, barely fits. I'm not sure what is up. With that, I measured a bunch of things. I've tried a bunch of wheels, but it does the same thing with all the wheels, and I have no idea why. So, generally, these frames are great memorabilia. It's cool to show them off, or somewhat fun to put them on once a year, but Seriously, only just as a reminder how horrible they are. I'm going to take them apart too. Maybe you don't know how these work, but I'm going to show it to you. Check this out. So it has this huge age block, has the suspension arm, and it has a bushing. I think these bushings hardened up a bit. They are a bit old. They are about 10, more like 14 years old. They go into this lot. Then you squeeze in the arm. And then put the axle in, but I didn't put in the UFS bolt. It should go first, but I'm not going to put this on a skate right now. It has a hole, so you could access the access your UFS bolt to tighten it or loosen it, but it doesn't align. I couldn't really put the hex key in. Well, kind of, kind of, not easy. If I force it, yeah, force it, okay, yeah. So yeah, these are the keys of suspension frames. Well, let's get into the fun stuff. These are the physics frames, whatever, white physics. I 
first seen these frames in 2002 we were very new to blading i've been blading for about a year in 2002 i've seen some guys skating these frames and i don't know i just overheard people like oh wow look at those physics frames those are some some kind of spring-loaded suspension frames and i was in awe but i was also a 15 year old kid and i wasn't pro or anything so i could not afford anything like this back back during those days probably won't be skating these aggressively maybe a couple times during each year maybe for some rails or some grind boxes it's a fantastic feeling it's like the most high-tech feeling frame ever the biggest drawback is that it's a bit heavy it's somewhat heavy I'm going to show you how heavy it is. The maximum wheel size, mm, I haven't found any official information on it. Maybe they, this one rubs a bit, but I don't really feel it when I roll on it. Um, the maximum wheel size is, I think 57, but you could get away with 50. Seven and a half. These are fifty-seven and a half. These are fifty-sevens. So I haven't taken it apart, not yet, but I think it's somewhat obvious how it works. Just looking for an angle where I could show it. Also. This is red because it had re red rocker arms in it for probably 10 or 20 years. And that's why you see this pink, red discoloration around the middle. But I don't mind. It's a, it was a brand new frame. I, I rolled on this just a few times. So it's just some very minimal where as you could see so rocker arms i ordered them with the aluminium outer <coughs> aluminium outer rocker walls i mean rocker arms and the inner ones are plastic and this also works based on the idea that it has a <clears throat> suspension rocker arm that is pushing against a somewhat soft rubbery bushing. So this setup is somewhat of a rocker. Um, I don't think I could show it. Maybe. Maybe I could. <clears throat> losing my voice just slowly yeah so the older ones hang in the air just by a millimeter so it's very swivelly and a bit scary sometimes because if you swivel and you get suspension at the same time, sometimes you could lose your balance just a bit. But as I said, I'm normally using this recreationally. Mostly for the reason that I want to preserve them, somewhat preserve them. But I also don't want to have this thing here just sitting in a box or sitting on a shelf as a decoration. Rolling on these. Phenomenal, phenomenal. 
I mean, <clears throat> I've got the, probably my favorite wheels that are the best for suspension dampening. These wheels soak up so much shock, plus it has the suspension bushings. Power transfer is great, but the responsiveness is not very great. If you skate these, you don't really feel the ground. Touching the ground with these, touching your skate on the ground, feels like you step on a pillow. So it's not the most responsive, but it's absolutely a very exceptional sensation. The engineering that went into this, I think Tom Heiser designed this. It would be very interesting to see this frame to come back because right now there are people who could pay money for this. We have disposable incomes and a passion for blading. I would love to see physics to come back. This probably not be my number one frame, but it's definitely something exquisite. I'm super happy with the quality, tolerances are just mind-blowing, it's very well made. And it's awesome.